Okay, get everyone. We've got the upbox printer here. Now, I was having an issue with the temperature up here showing randomly almost between 80 to 160 degrees variation even when it was just turned on. So it was obvious that there was a problem with the temperature sensing. Now, I did do a Google search and there were some comments online about the nozzle being too too hot and of course if it's too hot it won't do the calibration and uh, probably can't regulate the temperature of the hot end properly if it doesn't know how hot it is. So what I did was, here's my up box, I basically unplugged this, switched it off, unplugged this, took this out and I used my old multimeter just here on uh, the continuity check function and I just went through from the hot end down the bottom I'll just show you there's a hot end and on the other side we've got the connections for the heater and the temperature sensor. So starting on that side there, just doing a point-to-point -point check up to this connector here, and then up to there, and then plugging that in back in there, but that in unplugged. I went from there, took the cover off the back of the up box, and checked the other side of this ribbon cable and the interesting thing is you can't see it here now but underneath this cover there's two little connectors one goes down to the stepper motor on the other side it goes to the hot end and the, th the temperature sensor and I found initially pulling that plug off was quite difficult it was almost stuck in there so uh, it was almost like there was perhaps vapors or fumes with contaminants had gotten into that connector and somehow uh, created an isolation in the connection for the temperature sensing because once I had reconnected everything back up again and powered it up as you can see here when I come back to the software my temperature is kind of reading okay now it's actually gone up to 46 degrees so i hope that it's all right but i have done the continuity check all the way through and it's been fine so if there's still a fault it may be that the temperature sensor itself is faulty or there's an issue with the main board uh, i think more likely it's a problem with the sensor and if that is the case I'll have to purchase a new hot end but I just wanted to make this video to show how I checked all the electrical connections through here.